Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a bit of painting. The previous owners of the boat painted the whole boat, the walls, the ceiling etc. with, I don't know how you'd describe this colour, it's a light purpley brown but it's literally everywhere. I personally don't like it, I can't stand it so I've actually done all the ceiling that took three coats I'm figuring because it's the same colour paint it'll probably take three coats for the walls but I've been out and got all my painting equipment got our brushes got the little mini rollers and this has the two types it's got the sponge and the furry cloth type ones I went everywhere to get a nice Devon cream paint couldn't get one anywhere so I ended up buying this one which is a Turner and Grey Matte Magnolia. Got that one from Burn and Bargains and I think it's five yeah it's five litres and it costs $4.99 so a pound a litre you can't go wrong with that. Right then what we're going to do is this I'll show you where we're going to paint and then we'll start painting. Right then, I'm going to start over in this section by the more so squirrel. I'm going to also do the window frames going all the way up the boat. I'm going to do one side at a time I think. And as you can see, that's all the ceiling that i done. Going all the way down past the loo and into the bedroom but as you can see it's everywhere this colour is ceiling looks so much better it's so much lighter an area so there's quite a bit of painting to do here on these walls let's go down show you it from the other direction and as you can see the ceiling looks so much better but if I can get these walls done one side a day I'm figuring we should get it done within a couple of days I think so I'll leave it there for now right then everything's ready we've got our paint we've got our roller I've opted for the sponge type We'll give it a go. Sorry about the noise. I've got the water pump going. I've got the water going uh, in the galley. Simply because I want to flush the system out and sterilise it all. Um, right then, let's see how this goes on. I'll do it, well, I'll start it up this end, right here. So you'll probably be able to see it a little bit better. I have pre-cleaned all these walls and all the woodwork, the window frames, etc. Right, okay. So it's going on, but I think we might have to have a go with the paintbrush, I think. Or I might just try the um the other type of rollers because this is going on quite thin this is let's try it a bit more obviously it's the first coat so it's going to go a little bit thinner anyway the thing is with these rollers you do get faster coverage with them which is good because it saves your time basically and there goes my phone <laughs> right okay then I'm going to leave it there because that was my brother and he's going to phone back and like I just said he's going to phone back so we'll carry on very soon right then we've done one coat so let me show you exactly what we did here now as you can see 
this paint is a magnolia because of the dull lighting here because I've not got the lighting on and I've not got the lighting system that I want in here it does look more white than it does magnolia so I've done all the way up to that first work surface that is three coats on there today I've obviously started here things like these lights and stuff like that because I want to clean and change them maybe change them I've left it so I can just go over it as and when I need to as you can see down here we've done the one coat over the whole lot down here including the portholes so yeah it's looking pretty good and it's a lot better than that colour so let's take you back right there's the stern if you've not seen it pram cover is roughly a year old probably not even that got to give it a good cleaning here but it's looking pretty good sorry about the camera angles folks let's go back down so you can have another loving look at it and there we go I think the next part of the video will be when all of this part going all the way down to the stern is finished so you can have a good look at it next one I'm going to start is obviously on that side I just wanted to get one side of the boat done and then the other so like I say the next time we take it up it will be when all this lap is finished and I've started on the other side right then the whole of the lounge area is done as you can see it's looking pretty good and it's better than that colour that we had before may turn it around so you can see the galley there we go put my clock up and of course smoke alarms back up and CO2 detector up there not going to go all the way down the boat because I've got the bedroom area down there which isn't 100% finished yet so overall I'll do a video when the boat is all actually finished and decorated how I want it but it's looking pretty good so far brought myself a load of new three gang switches with USBs and I'll be changing the black ones for the brushed chrome so yeah it's looking pretty good so far folks so I think I'll leave it there and bye for now